Hi everyone, so this is the second lesson for the using logs to model pack. So this is lesson two. So we're given it, and we know the equation y equals at to the b. So we've got y and t were our original um, variables, and a and b are the constants. So it says, so let's find the value of y and find the value of t to the nearest integer from the data point labeled a. So we should be able to read off this and say that a is 1.3 comma 3.4. Now you're going to think about what your straight line would have been. Well, you don't really need it, do you? Because these are just log values. So going up is log y. And that's equal to 3.4. So y is 10 to the power of 3.4. Uh, so that is roughly, well, to the nearest whole number, according to the completed pack, it's 2512. Follow us. Uh, so this is like Instagram, isn't it? And going across, we said that log t is 1.3. So t is 10 to the power of 1.3. So t is roughly 20 days to the nearest integer. Once again, write down a better answer and we'll do your round up. So then it says, calculate, use the calculator. Okay. So I want to find it. So I've started off with an equation, which is y equals a t to the b. So if I do my logs on it, so I can pretty much do it in one go now. So I've got log a plus b times by log t. So a and b were the constants we were finding. Uh, so we, we know from the graph that log y is across, log t is, sorry, what log y is up, log t is across. So that must be the y intercept. And that must be the constant. So I need two points then. I've got 1.3, 3.4, and you should be able to read off 0, 1.8. So I'm going to use that for my gradient, them two points. So my gradient is 0 and 0.8 through to 1.3 and 3.4. Gives me a gradient of 2, but my gradient is actually b. So b is 2, so that's good. It's found a constant. I should have really wrote that, so I need to work out what the other value is. Um, right. I'll do it down here, but I should have really wrote that, found a constant. If you can actually read what I'm writing, because I'm writing it really, really fast. So I know. But the y-intercept is 0 0.8, and that relates to log a. So for the y-intercept, log of a is 0 0.8. So 10 to the power of 0 0.8 gives me roughly 6.31. So we said didn't we, originally that my equation is a t to the b. So now it's 6.31 times by t squared there. So that's our equation. So it says estimate how many followers we'll have after 60 days. So if I use that equation, 6.31 times by um, t, which is 60, that will give a y value of roughly 22714. So a limitation to this, I mean, it was a curve going up, wasn't it? It's going on forever and ever and ever. So a limitation to this is that it implied uh, an infinite, can't help, so I'm not, sorry, I'm trying to rush it, sorry, imply an infinite number of followers. Uh, 
in the jar. Right, there's one for you to do on this next page. It gives you the equation, talks about revision and stuff. And stuff. So please have a go at that. Delete. 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 Time Where? So you should be able to do that one for you. There's one more question, which looks quite quick, so I'm going to quickly do it at the end of this bit. See if I can sneak it in. So what we got here then, right, so your gradient, which is going to be 7 take 5 over 7 take 0, because it's going between 0, 5 and 7, 7. So the gradient is 2 over 7. So I had a graph which was, uh, what was it, so it's long y is m log x plus c, but I know my m, so log y is 2 over 7 log x plus 5. Now, I guess I want to do some log laws with this, don't I? There's other ways of doing this, but I'm going to put it all in terms of logs. It says, but I don't actually do that. So that's going to be log x to the power 2 over 7. 5 is log 10 to the power 5. So I can combine it together. So it's going to be 10 to the power 5. So, mm, that's 10 to the power 4. One. There. So that means if I get rid of the logs, that y equals 100,000 x to the power 2 over 7. So that's a bit random, man. I, mean, I, kind of I kind of just did it without actually reading the question. But it wanted the equation, and I knew what the gradient was, and I knew what the intercept was. So I kind of used log laws, so I've changed the intercept um, as 5 is actually log of 10 to the power 5. If you're not happy with that, you can see the 5 as being 5 times 1, which is then log of 10, which then, if you take the 5 up, becomes 10 to the power of 5. So that's one way of looking at how we change that 5 into that log. So I kind of feel like I'm running out of time and rush that one. I don't think I really explained it very well. Uh, I took that 2 7 up as a, a power, and then I could combine the logs and then just get rid of them. Right. Oof. It's a bit full on, but it's quite the, the nice thing is you've just got to look where the x is. If the x is the power, you're doing the 10 to the power of the constant and the and the gradient to find the values. If x isn't in the power, then you your gradient oh your gradient's perfect. But your intercept, this isn't going to move, is it? There we go. But the intercept, you have to do 10 to the power of. Right, I think there's questions after this. Yeah. Right, well done, everybody. See you later.